We've come down to Twickenham Stadium today, where as you can hear, extensive renovations are going on around me, where Legal in general are hosting the first ever Not A Red Card Forum. The point of today is to talk about mental health, and the world of sport and business have joined forces with the likes of sports journalists, broadcasters, industry experts and businessmen to talk about mental health. The whole point of today is to raise awareness and reinforce the fact that talking about mental health is not a red card offence. Let's go inside. Being an ex-athlete, you, you know, you're in a position where you've, you've sort of been through it, you've had those experiences. And, and quite often they come full circle. Um, I think there's a there's a responsibility there. I think to, to sort of pass on any advice you can, and you know, you know, from my own point of view, just getting into a bit of coaching now as well, and, and working with young athletes, it's it's hugely rewarding. Mental health in the rugby industry is quite key and obviously it's quite important for us. Uh, from the community side of stuff, we're going into a lot of schools and a lot of colleges and rugby clubs where people may or may not have mental health problems. We can see possibly some aspects where people may be displaying that kind of thing and it's just an avenue we can actually look at to maybe hopefully give them a better experience when we're coaching and helping them out. Sport is brilliant because people get alongside you, but also you get that kind of tough teamwork side of things where actually it is it's proven today that sometimes it's quite difficult to speak out. You get sports stars saying, hey, you can share it. It's better to tell someone than not say anything and hopefully that's a, an inspiration for young people. Well, it's, it's becoming a, a topic that some of them probably weren't actually aware of maybe two, three years ago, but it's obviously become very prevalent, especially as careers sometimes are being shortened, you know, mid 20s. Obviously, the RPA do an awful lot of work with it, within that sphere. Um, I think the players and the coaches have become very much aware of where the support can come from. Um, we're working with, through the foundation to actually make sure that we can take the values and the support and obviously the expertise that come in the playing department to actually take it and then push it onto the public. Thank you so much. And uh, let's not forget that talking about mental health is definitely not a red card offence. Have a great night. Thank you. I think this campaign is really important for the workplace generally and I think sport has a lot of lessons it can it can give and it can learn as well but I think the conversation that has engaged today I think has been really relevant to sport so hopefully sports communities will also learn a lot.